Good evening. My name is Herman Hulst from Guerrilla Games, and I'd like to welcome you to Horizon Zero Dawn. Set on Earth, more than a thousand years into the future, this is a world that's ruled by amazing machines. And Aloy, our hero, she must use every element of strategy to take down these fearsome foes. What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Trouble. This is the brand new gameplay demo walkthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. As it's my most anticipated game of next year, I've been hyping this one since 2014. So super stoked for something this creative and this clever and this original. I want to give you guys my live reactions. to get a very specific resource from the canisters on the backs of the machines that we're looking at here. They're called the grazers. And the grazers are part of an entire machine ecology where each machine has its own unique purpose in the world and its own unique resources that Aloy, as the master craftswoman, can use to craft new weapons, new ammo, and new outfits. So I've never seen this, and it looks so gorgeous. I love hearing that crafting is going to be such a huge part of the game. You guys know me, you know I'm a sucker for crafting. I love that, especially in a shooter. I think that's so just so the awesome. It's something Tomb Raider does your too. In your environments. And Aloy is going to use an ammo type here called the Explosive Tripwire in order to set traps that she hopes she'll be able to push this herd into. It seems like this game is going to have a lot more flexibility and variety than even something like Tomb Raider, so the crafting will probably be even more robust and more critical uh, to success and fun, which is, is really exciting for me. Like, just look at the way she sets those traps. This is almost like Just Cause 3, like, level of, like environmental manipulation and it's set in a shooter in a gorgeous huge world with robot freaking dinosaurs i love the whole like it's so far in the future thousands of years so we don't even recognize the future elements that they have and yet then someone just hit the reset button and everything has returned to like these old-fashioned ancient ways of, of bows and braided hair and a whole lot of greenery foliage a couple of alpha grazers stuck around here to defend the herd and to give it an opportunity to escape. There's just a majestic nature about this game. Every time I see it, whether it be screenshot or video, this is obviously brand new gameplay. And like, you just you get the sense so much that, I don't know, the team at Gorilla has such a vision, right? Like, they did Kill Zone, and I feel like they nailed what they wanted to do there. And now they're putting their minds in this fantasy, sci fi, future past world. And they clearly have such, like, I, I imagine them having a huge lore book that just... Horizon uh, is an action RPG, and you can see that the, the looting of the parts of the machines and the crafting of items with that is a major part of this game. I really like the interface already. I'm sure it'll go through some uh, changes between now and next fall when I assume it releases. Uh, but I also just love some of the, the small touches and effects where she moves through the grass so gracefully and all also so, like... Realistically, it manipulates and moves, and that thing is monstrous. You got like a Metal Gear sized Transformer Dinobot entering the arena. Crash? Oh no, we just opened up death mode to show you our <laughs> mighty Thunderhaw. Thunderjaw, it's 24 meters long, it's 10 meters high, and you can see here the sheer size differential between it and Aloy. It's crazy. Now, the Thunderjaw makes for a very strategic fight, it's got 93 armor plates which cover the soft tissue underneath. And if you can zoom in on these weak points, it gives you a massive advantage. Also, if you uh, zoom in here on this disc launcher, uh, if you take that off, you might be able to use the machine's weapons against itself. So you will prevent it from, uh, from firing long-range missiles at you, and you can pick up that heavy weaponry and use it to your advantage. So let's get back into the fight and actually recommend we get out of the way here. I don't know if you saw, but when he was doing that in, in that pause mode, you could see how much, like, visual flare is freaking happening in the background. You had birds flying up in the distance. You've got particle effects uh, in, in the foreground. You've got rocks now flying everywhere. You have snowy mountains off to the side. You've got a sunrise happening on the horizon. And this giant dino is fighting you as your clothes and hair all, like, so many systems. This is the future of games, and this is what Next Gen is all about. This is what we've waited for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One to be. And it's coming, I pray, in 2016. Uh, seriously, like, it's so exciting when you're really excited for a game, and it turns out to be just as or even more exciting than you hoped. And I feel like they've really invested in making combat complicated and creative 
and also just mechanically sound. I think the, the gunplay in Killzone is fantastic. I know some people didn't like it, they didn't like the weight or the heft. I think Killzone is fantastic. Um, not my favorite shooter of all time, but I really love those games. I love the weapon feel. I love the enemy, uh, like, consistency. I love how, like, all the hell gas, like, felt legit. Like, they felt like these are real things that existed, and now we're just playing the video game representation. And I think this game is going to have that same genuine feel, even for something that is so not realistic at all. Like, this is completely crazy. But again, that's what I was kind of getting at earlier. Like, they feel like... It feels like they know it so well, and they've nailed it so true, that you take it seriously. And I think this whole idea of massive, gigantic open world action RPG, and not like a game like a Skyrim or a Fallout where the combat is kind of an afterthought, but it seems like surely the combat is at the crux of the game here. And, and I bet there's not the choices in the, the dialogue systems of those aforementioned uh, Western RPGs, but personally, I'm so pumped for something that focuses on mechanics and still borrows all the creativity, all the excitement and imagination of an open world title, and delivers a vision that is wholly unique, wholly original, and wholly beautiful in so many ways. I mean, I applaud them for being so bold with their wrists. Not only are they using a female main character, not only are they going to their brand new IP, not only are they going with a type of game that they've never made a I don't think, I don't know that Gorilla's made an open world action RPG, I don't believe they have. It, Thanks so it's much just... for having us here at Paris Games Week. We are looking forward to bringing you Horizon Zero Dawn in 2016. Yes, and that's what I wanted to hear most, the game. Uh, I don't know if they'd ever confirmed it, I thought that they had kind of said like it might be in 2017, it might be coming whenever, but I love the fact that they're committing to a 2016 date. I cannot wait for E3 2016. I'm sure it'll be playable, and I'm sure it's going to be a freaking blast. But I, I just love their... Is an action RPG, and you can it really warms the, my heart to see developers taking and risks, and to see major studios major putting monster dollars behind projects that are really, really adventurous. And if you think about the generation that we just went through, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, how many of our favorite franchises were, were wholly new and original at that point? Gears of War, Assassin's Creed, Bioshock... Uncharted, Batman Arkham Asylum, a lot of those, you know, are in genres that are, are firmly established, but they were fresh for the time, and they introduced new characters, Crash? new environments, new stories, oh no, new plots. Up death mode to show we you haven't had a whole lot of that Hall. this generation yet. Thunder it's been a whole lot of sequels, long, remakes, high, and, and redos, and now I think we're finally starting to see it and Aloy. the fun, now, the creativity, the, the excitement, the joy of game design shine blades, through, and that's so special to me. Horizon Zero Dawn, Battleborn, I think there are going to be a whole bunch of really advantage. brilliant games also, in 2016. And I hope we can add the sequels you, to the list too, uh, I hope Mirror's Edge 2 and Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, and Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and Uncharted 4 and The Legend of Zelda Open World Freaky Fest and whatever else ends up dropping in 2016, I hope they're all fantastic, but it's really, really so let's get special to me to see new IP be so get out of the way here. heralded and so warmly received because that doesn't happen very often. That's why we're left with an industry that frequently and far too often, in my opinion, falls back on retreads and, and things of the past instead of bold new visions for the future. And so while I, ex I totally expect and, and appreciate and respect the yearly Call of Duties and Assassin's Creed and stuff like that, and frankly, I'm having so much fun with both those this year. It's just the best when a game like Horizon Dawn, you're super excited for it. You see some concept art in 2014, you're like, wow, this sounds cool. I really like what Gorilla does. I think they have a fantastic visual uh, style and, and such immense talent for bringing worlds to life on screen. And then they deliver something that is this wild mix of present and past, future and forgotten. It's so amazing. Organic and inorganic. Like, it is a game, a dream game. And I hope it plays like that. And I know we've only seen a small sliver, even in this demo, which is a new demo, and, and they played it and whatnot, it still is recalling the trailers and, and the demo from E3. So when we get to see brand new stuff, I'm sure there's many environments, many enemies. There's also the whole tribal system and the different factions and whatnot, which we haven't even got into, but gosh, it looks good. I hope you guys are pumped. If you are, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know what you're thinking about Horizon Zero Dawn. So pumped for this one. I will be following it. Close. From now until launch day, gosh, if anyone out there needs someone to test Horizon Zero Dawn, no man sitting in his chair right now, because this looks like a blast. I don't even care if it has multiplayer. I don't even care if it has choices. It looks like it's a gamer's game, and by golly, we do not get enough of those. 
in this era. Uh, I hope the story is, is superb as well. I hope the main character is fully realized. Most of all, though, just bow down to Horizon. It's called Horizon Zero Dawn, but Horizon Bow Down seems to be a better name because they are doing what so many more companies I wish to see them do. So thank you guys, girls, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Hopefully you enjoyed my impressions. Until next time, everybody, you are amazing. Horizon looks amazing. We'll see you all later.